Now let me go ahead and try to open this Astrometrica software and see if it's going to load in a proper way or not. Indeed, it's going to take some of the time uh, until it's going to load. So I'll just pause the video over here and return once it's ready. And there it is. So if you're getting this type of an error, how you can solve this? Let me tell it to you in the step-by-step -step format. First of all, close this thing. The first step would be to go ahead, go to your start menu over there, search for command prompt or in short CMD. So I'll type CMD and this is where it is the command prompt. This is the first step. And uh, this is the type of command prompt that you will be getting in front of you. And you simply need to paste this code. I'll be giving you this whole code to you. So no need to worry and remember it or type it manually. And then just press enter. Now what you can do is you can just close this and now try to open this Astrometrica software. Again, it's going to take some time. So I'll just pause this video over here and I'll return once this kind of time is over and I can show you that without any kind of runtime error, you will be able to load this kind of software now. And I'll also tell you what is the reason that it's going to work, what has happened by running that code so that you are not having any kind of an confusion of what has happened. All right, so it's about to be loaded. It's in the process. Let's just wait for it. And there you go. Now you can clearly see that the Astrometrica is loading without any kind of problem. That runtime problem is now solved. So there we are. As you can see that the Astrometrica is now working fine. You can go to your settings and in the settings you can click on open and inside this open you can go to the settings again and choose either the PS1 or PS2 and you can configure your Astrometrica software according to the type of data that you're dealing with. But yes, I hope that now you have understood how you can solve this problem. And now let me tell you that how we have actually solved it. I'll just close this very quickly. Now I'll go to the C drive and uh, there it is. This is my C drive. I'll go into this users. Inside this users, I'll go to the username that I'm using currently, that is part. And over here, I'll be searching for this app data. I'll go to that. And there is a local option. I'll click that. And over here, this is the folder that we have created by running that code on the command terminal. And now this is the configuration settings that have been enabled us to use that Astrometrica software without that runtime error. So I hope that your problem is solved now and also understood that what kind of code uh, that we had ran on the command terminal, what is it going to do? So I hope it makes sense.